is my pleasure today to welcome to the House of Commons players and representatives of the Team Canada Team 1972. I will ask members to hold their applause until I have the names of our guests. I'm wondering if I even need to go through this because everybody knows exactly who you are, but I'm going to take it from the top if everyone can hold back. Don Ari. Ivan Cornoyer. The Honorable Ken Dryden. Ron Ellis. For Victor Hadfield, who was not able to attend, his son, Jeff Hadfield. <laughs> Paul Henderson. <laughs> Dennis Hall. Honorable Frank Mahavlich. <laughs> Peter Mahavlich. <laughs> Serge Savard. <laughs> Robert Sealing. and the late Bill White, represented by his son, Cam White. I will now invite the Right Honourable Prime Minister to make a statement to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the 1972 Summit Series. Mr. Speaker, everyone loves a good comeback story, especially one that united our whole country Quite frankly, the level of unanimity in this house today is a nice thing to see, too. <laughs> Fifty years ago, before the Summit Series had even started, a lot of sports writers and hockey fans were predicting an easy win for Team Canada. At the time, a journalist of the Globe and Mail famously promised that if the Soviets won a single game, he would eat his own column shredded in a bowl of borscht. Well, it didn't take long for him to eat his words literally. There's even a picture of it. Le 2 septembre 1972, on September 2nd, 1972, the first match, match took place in the Montreal the Forum. Canada, hey, Canada lost seven, that game seven to three. Au cours des jours et semaines qui ont in the days and weeks that followed, our team experienced ups and downs. Après une défaite, lors du After a loss match in the Moscow, fifth game in Moscow, au pied du mur. Si we were up against the wall. Série, if we wanted to win the series, we had to win the, series, to win the last three games in a row. It was quite a challenge. But the players les kept practicing, the coaches refined their strategy, and, and Canadians didn't lose hope. Game six. After a scoreless first period, Canada finally produces a 3-2 victory. Game 7, Phil Esposito scores the first two goals, and Canada wins 4-3. And then, Game 8. Dernier match de la série. Il reste the last une game of the series, jouer. there is one Le minute left to play, and the score is 5-5. Five five. That's when Henderson. Paul Henderson <laughs> jumps on the ice. Henderson rushes to the net. He falls. He gets back up. Team Canada takes two rebound shots, and with 34 seconds to go, Henderson flips in a shot to the goalie's left. You could hear the cheers from coast to coast to coast. <laughs> Everyone remembers where they are. 
everyone except me, because I was only nine months old. Uh, <laughs> but I remember growing up with players like Yvonne Cornoyer and Ken Dryden as heroes. I'm even wearing my Habs socks today. <laughs> they weren't only heroes because they had won the series. They were all heroes because they taught us a lesson. They showed us how grit and hard work pays off. They showed us that even when there's only 34 seconds left to play, you never give up. And in a global example, they showed us that having a hard-fought competition on ice can go a long way even for diplomacy. Mr. Speaker, Paul Henderson once told the story of a friend calling him when the Berlin Wall fell, saying that after his famous goal in 72, the Soviets probably never recovered. <laughs> Now, I will let experts debate on whether there's any truth to that, but what is absolutely true is that the Summit Series was a defining moment in the history of our country. Here, here. Mr. President, in 1972, Mr. Speaker, in 1972, our national flag was only seven years old. C'est un drapeau à l'époque qui ne faisait pas encore l'unanimité. It was not a flag that everyone agreed with. Mais comme le souvent fait remarquer Serge Savard, après la victoire de nos joueurs qui portaient cette feuille d'érable sur leur chandail, les Canadiens sont devenus fiers de ce symbole qui les représente encore aujourd'hui, un symbole de paix, de démocratie et de liberté. Our world is a different place today than it was during the Cold War, Mr. Speaker. But there are parallels, and one thing remains the same. We will never stop fighting for what is right. Today, as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Summit Series and all the members of this historic team, let's remember the best of who we are as Canadians. Let's continue our work to make sure people, young and old, players and fans, can be part of this extraordinary sp sport in a safe and respectful environment. Let's keep reminding the world that being polite and friendly never precludes us also being tough and determined. And let's remember that with hope and hard work, there's nothing we can't overcome. Merci, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, friends.